What a day. Hi, everybody. It's Becky from uh, PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. I've got like, I don't know, five followers. So my blogger buddy, Joy, Joy Bernhardt from Joyful-Expressions.com. I sent her a sample video, um, one I put up last night uh, about using the Brother Scan and Cut to make the Cute Monsters quilt from Shiny Happy World. Um, I think I got that off of Craftsy. Anyway, she said, the only thing missing from the video is you. And I thought, well, yeah, I know. I just don't. Usually, uh, when I'm in my sewing room, like I am now, uh, it's, you know, early in the morning. I'm the only one awake. My hair is, you know, I'm doing one of these, right? And I'm in some scruffy sewing shirt and a pair of sweats. And I thought, well, if you care about how you look, then you can do a video right after you get home from work. So I work uh, for the U.S. Air Force. I'm a IT, uh, information technology. I'm a computer nerd. But um, so I, my day when I get home, I get up at 4.30 in the morning. And everybody says, how do you have time to sew? Because I always have about nine or ten projects going at any given moment. Um, it helps to be organized. It helps to be manic. Uh, you know, helps to be a little crazy, I think. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so my day, you know, I get up at 4.30. I leave for work at about quarter to six. Before I leave for work, I have a time delay on my washing machine, and I'm very structured on how I do laundry. So um, in the Air Force, where I work anyway, in San Antonio, they, the active duty folks, um, I'm retired active duty, I'm a civilian now, but the active duty folks have to wear their blues on Monday and they call it blue Monday. So Monday's when I do blue jeans. Yeah, it works for me. So I put those in before I go to work, set it for 10 hour delay and they're freshly washed when I get home. That and the crock pot. I did a pork roast today. Um, it came out pretty good. So I've already, uh, let's see. What time is it? 5.35. It's December 3rd, 2018. I learned that from Joy. Um, I've already switched out the laundry and because uh, it was done when I got home. I just had to put it in the dryer. And uh, then I... Um, we ate. I made lunches for the next day and got those in the refrigerator. Already done the dishes and I'm done. And it's not even 6 o'clock yet. So, no kids at home anymore. Gone. Grown and gone. Um, grandbabies galore. I got four of them. So, they're mostly what I do a lot of my sewing for. I have been sewing for probably about, oh gosh. Well, if you read my blog, um, the first things I sewed for the first 20 years of my adult life were, you know, stripes on my arms and patches on my uniforms and all that. Um, why would I go pay somebody a buck and a half a patch when I can do it myself. A few home deck projects here and there. Didn't sew for my son, did not have time with a little one, and, and you know, it's just kind of hard, so. Anyway, um, once uh, my grandson, he turned seven in June. Once he was on the way, uh, that started the whole thing, and um, I was never a quilter. And um, I'm looking at my long arm over here. I'll have to show you guys my sewing room someday. But uh, um, I, was, I was making his nursery, and uh, I was looking for custom-made bias tape to go around the blanket. It was a Vogue pattern, I think. And um, so <laughs> I was looking around on YouTube, which, of course, wasn't around, you know, 30 years ago when he was a baby. And I, I come across this lady. Her name was Jenny. And she was from Missouri Star Quilt Company, and they had just launched. So... Um, you know, and, and Jenny was like, you know, see this quilt behind me? Oh, you can make this. It's so simple and it's so fun and you can do this. And I was like, oh, I can do that. And I became a quilter uh, right at that moment. <laughs> so, and, you know, my, my first start, I just started sewing squares together. I mean, take a charm pack. I built my entire stash using the Missouri Star Daily Deal. And I learned how to quilt from Jenny. Um, I've met her twice. Twice? Yes, twice. Once at the Houston Quilt Festival 
and uh, once at the um, Victoria's Quilt Guild, they were having um, a sit down with her, Victoria, Texas. They were having a sit down with her between market and the festival. They're a week apart. And she and her husband had decided to stay in Texas for that. And so it was, she was going to be there at like on like a Wednesday. Well, do you know, I took off work. I'm like, I got to go see Jenny. So it was great. I got pictures with her. Just a wonderful, wonderful lady. And uh, her poor husband, he's, you know, spends the whole time displaying all these quilts hanging up like this. So, but uh, really a lot of fun. Um, my husband bought me an embroidery machine. I didn't know much about it. And he bought one for me for Christmas probably about oh, six or seven years ago. It sat for three years, not doing anything. And then again, I saw it on YouTube and I was like, I think I have one of those machines. <laughs> I y'all, my life. But, um, so now I'm sitting here next to, and it was a brother PE 770. Um, I, after that, I bought a baby lock Elegante 2 off of Craigslist. Got it for like 2,600 bucks. Uh, coming home from the coast, we went straight up there. We, we have a place at the coast down in Port O'Connor that we hang out quite a bit. And, um, and then this little sweet gem right here is the brother Innovus 6000. It's the Quattro. <laughs> love, 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 love. Also a Craigslist find. Got it for 3500 Um, And lost my phone on the same day. It was quite an expensive day. But anyway, so that's kind of me. Oh, and of course I have the long arm. And um, it's a king quilter. Nothing fancy. I'm a budget seamstress. Sewer, quilter, embroiderer budget if i can get it on sale or i can get it for free money at zero percent somewhere that's me um and uh like i said build my stash for cheap i am a bit of a fabric snob i do like quality quilt fabrics but when it comes to machines i know the brother is identical to the baby lock so i'll buy a brother every time um oh and we have a Janome mb7 the seven needle in the other room my husband i don't know why he bought it i would have rather had the brother but that's me Anyway, so I just wanted to give you a little introductory video, tell you who I am, and a little bit about me, and I hope you join me on my manic <laughs> sewing journey. So, um, subscribe? Are you supposed to beg for subscribers? I don't think that's cool, but anyway, if you would, I'd appreciate it, and um, I hope to see you around. Thanks!